Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 846. Okay, if you want to download this workbook 836 to 847, click on the link below the video. In this video, we want to take a cell with a first and last name separated by a space and reverse the names. Now, there's so many different formulas for this. Uh, there's one there uses four functions. Here's another good one that uses five, uh, five functions. But let's look at a great, uh, even shorter formula that only uses three functions. Now, I'm going to use the mid function. Mid function is great because you can extract a, tech, a subtext string from a larger text string. Now, you'd think that mid wouldn't work here because I'm going to need you know, part of this and part of that. But check this out. We're going to put into the text argument whatever's in this cell, which means first space last, and join with the ampersand, shift 7, and then in double quotes, a space, ampersand. All right, and then click on this. What? what? What are we doing here? That seems overkill. But let's highlight this and hit the F9 key. What does it do? Tom, uh, fill Tom, fill Tom. So it repeats it twice with a space in between. But lo and behold, right in the middle, it lists the last and then the first separated by a space. That's really what we want. So the mid function is perfect for this text string because we're going to extract from the T all the way to the I there, and it'll say Tom Phil. Now, what are we going to do for the starting number and number of characters? The starting number will say search for a space. The search function will give us the position of that space, and we'll add one. We'll get to the T, so that'll be our starting position. And number of characters, well, Tom Phil is exactly the same number of characters as this. So for number of characters, we'll use the len function, control Z, comma, the start search. I'm going to search for in double quotes a space within this. Right, so that'll give me 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and I want 6, so I'm going to add 1, comma, and the number of characters. Well, I'm just going to take the length of that, and that'll count the total number of characters in that cell. All right, and there we have Tom Phil and Pat Dill. All right, see you next trick.